At first glance, this small lab on Stanford's campus looks very clinical. But after gearing up with the right equipment, it becomes a virtual pasture. Please turn to your right and you will see a feed cart and haystack. It is time for you to feed. The experiment at the Virtual Human Interaction Lab puts volunteers in the shoes, or in this case, the hooves, of a virtual cow. After getting fattened up, they feel simulated cattle prods as they're led to slaughter. The truck has arrived and it's time for you to go to the slaughterhouse. Please move two steps forward. A lot of people were kind of going to think twice uh, before they like sat down to have beef, but a lot of other people were like, this was a really cool experiment, but it's not really going to change dietary habits. And for us, we really were interested in the theory of empathy. Could you identify with this cow avatar, and how did it make you feel about the environment, and maybe things that you could do to make a small little difference? Other scenarios include chopping down a virtual tree, swimming in a polluted ocean, and becoming a virtual superhero. In this world where people spend more waking hours immersed in digital media than they do not using digital media, we try to find out how we can make the world a better place by building applications, uh, as well as understand the consequences of what happens when one spends too much time in these virtual environments. Other studies have shown that playing violent video games can lead to increased aggression. This research aims to find out if spending time in the virtual world can have positive effects as well. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Stanford, California.